Guten Tag. This is an unboxing and a hands-on review of a couple of products from DP Leather. No, sorry, <laughs> DP Steel and Leather. Um, he's a company in uh, Germany who makes uh, leather goods, uh, predominantly knife sheaths with a clip, um, which we're going to look at together. Now, I've ordered a couple of things from him because uh, I follow him on Instagram and uh, the stuff that he makes looks really superb. So I'm excited to, to show you this. I've had a quick peek, but we're going to have a look together because the, the way it's presented is, uh, is really nice and worth having a look at. So nice little box. Open that up. And inside, there's a handwritten business card. Um, so this is the guy. That's his logo. Daniel Pockledeck, head of business at DP Steel and Leather. And the website is theclipslip.com. On the back, he's written, Hey, Ben. Uh, that's me, Ben. Thanks for your order. The leather is pretty stiff in the beginning, but gets softer with use. The highlight that happens when you put the knife in are pull up. That is normal. All the best, Daniel. That's nice. Nice handwritten card. And a little bag of Haribo Bears. German. German Haribo Bears. That's cool. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? And everything else in here, it's got a sort of nice sort of organic feel. Brown paper bag, uh, brown paper wrapping, and then the two items that I ordered. Again, in nice little sort of organic brown paper bags with the DP logo stamped onto them, which is a really nice touch. So I'll just put those, put, put that one there, and we'll have a look at this one. So this is what is called the clip slip. And uh, so it's a slip, it's a nice slip, uh, otherwise called a sheath. And this is the standard. He's got different ranges uh, where he uses different leathers. Um, this is the standard and it's veg tan leather. And this is the small size. I'll show you it with my knives in a minute. And it comes by default with a clip to be worn in your right pocket. Uh, and I'll show you that now before we get any further. So here's a pair of trousers, okay? So this is your right pocket, and the idea is that the slip goes into your right pocket and clips on like that, and now you've got a sheath for your knife. Okay, so your knife that hasn't got a clip, and I'll show you mine that don't, uh, doesn't need a clip anymore because it sits in a sheath or a slip that is clipped to your pocket and that's it in the right pocket of a pair of trousers now he says on his website if you ask you can get it made with a left clip left hand side clip for your left pocket depending on uh, your preferences so that's how it functions and that's the point of it the point of it is that um I'm a little bit rambly uh, in this e in this video, but the point of it is, for example, this Burka uh, club knife that I have, um, I made a sheath for it. I like to have my knives in a sheath, uh, just to keep them, or a slip, I should say, really, uh, to keep them uh, safe from harm in my pocket with my keys and my coins and whatever else is in there. So I like a, a, a slip. And this is one that I made, okay? So it's nothing fancy, um, but it does the job. But it's loose in my pocket. The number of times this has fallen out of my pocket and I've hunted frantically around the house, the car, the, looking for my knife. Uh, luckily, so far, I found it. Um, but there'll come a day when, because it's just loose in my pocket, it's gone. And that's it. You know, the, the, that would be an, an awful shame. That's why this solution is so great. Because this clips to your pocket like we've just seen, and it's not going anywhere then, is it? Then, it, then the knife is safely in my pocket. So let's have a go with it. Um, we've seen it's got a beautiful deep stamp on the clip side. The stitching is, I mean, absolutely fantastic. The edge of the slip is really nice. 
I mean, it's all, it's all absolutely, you know, <laughs> compared to my efforts, this is uh, a whole different league. Now on the front side, uh, or the back side, depending on, on, on what you're calling it, uh, the logo again, a bit bigger. It's a really nice logo, isn't it? DP, um, nice sort of, looks like a, sort of a clover or petals. Anyway, that's by the by. Nice shape. Now this is untried. It's really stiff, really stiff. It's very, very hard leather. I mean, that will soften over time. I'm, I'm trying to open it by bending it together, but I can't. I want to get my knife in here. So there's several layers of leather in there. There's the veg tan leather front. Okay, so that's just one layer. Then at the back, we've got um, the veg tan leather. Then the clip itself, and then another layer. So that's to keep the knife apart from the clip so let's push the knife all the way in and that's the highlighting he's talking about isn't it that he spoke about in this card to me uh, the highlight that happens when you put the knife in that's pull up so that's normal so that's normal so that's the shape of the knife has created that coloring and that will um, over time will change what a what a glorious fit that is uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna get that out now <laughs> How am I going to get out? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Come, comes out fine. So that needs a bit of a bit of work to to soften it up, but absolutely lovely. Really nice. So that in my pocket, in my front pocket, and then my knife is safely secured in my pocket, and I'm not going to panic racing around because I've lost it with my little clipless slip. The slip, the clip itself, flip it, neck. That is a sturdy piece of steel. So it's a steel clip, and that is very, very strong. He gets these. Um, he gets these made specially for him in Germany, by all accounts, and that is super tight. Once that's clipped in place on your, onto your pocket, that's not going anywhere. Really good. I like that. Really, I really like that. That's fantastic. So that's the small, and as you can see, the Burger Club gentleman. Uh, fits in there absolutely perfectly. There's other sizes, there's extra small, there's large. There's, you have a look on his website. There's a really handy PDF that you print off uh, and then you can put your knife against it to see what size you need to order. Um, and there's options as well. There's different um, options available to you on his website. So that's one of the slips that I ordered. And the idea was that that was for my burka. And then I ordered um, another slip, exactly the same, but in a different colour. So that's, you'll argue, is not exactly the same. Uh, so this is um, brown, and this is ch chocolate, I think. Um, it's quite dark, isn't it, that, actually? Now, I chatted with Daniel uh, first on... Where did I chat with him? Just on email. Uh, and uh, he responded within an hour. And he's a really nice guy, very friendly and helpful. And I said to him, I am looking at the clip slip. Don't know what size I need. Um, I want it for my broker. I mean, I had printed off the PDF, but I was asking his, his uh, advice as well. And he recommended the small. And he was absolutely right. Um, and I said, so I'm thinking I will get one for my burqa and also one for my um, bullnose, my GC bullnose. And he said, I would advise that you get two. Now he would say that, wouldn't he? But he's right, because um, if you look at the thickness of these two knives, uh, this is going to be creating a shape in here that is going to be too baggy. For the burka so i've got my slip for the burka and then i've got my slip for the gec so i'm going to push that in and that is a, a snug fit to start a very snug fit to start but that's fine so in it goes lovely lanyard uh will be in there and then you can see that it's um, 
it's already started to change colour. So it was a dark, it was a very dark brown, the chocolate, which I wasn't particularly keen on, but I knew that it would it would uh, fade to this. So um, that's, I've got two uh, bull nose. I've got the my orange one, um, orange Delrin, but I've got my mine that I custom, custom rescaled. I'll quickly show you this because I quite, quite like it. I, I put brass liners on it. Um, brass, oh, difficult to focus. Brass liners. Uh, I changed the shape so that the um, the tang is hidden there. Um, and I got this uh, nice brown micarta. Just changed the shape of the of the bull nose. Anyway, that is by the by. That's what's going to be going into my clip slip and it needs its own as Daniel rightly pointed out because over time that is going to be much sorry for the jiggling much too baggy um, because it's a thicker knife so I have the two clip slips so fantastic well done Daniel really like those uh, I haven't used them yet in um, in my pocket, but just holding them in, holding them in my hands, they appear to be exactly what I need. Fantastically well made. I'm very impressed with the materials, the finish, the product, and the concept is 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 absolutely what I need. So very pleased with that. Thumbs up for those. That's not the end of this little review. In my little parcel, Daniel also included another little extra for me. Uh, we were chatting, I told him I had this YouTube channel, and he said, um, oh, I'll send you a little something else that you could talk about on your review. So here is a little something extra that he sent me. So I don't really know what it is yet. This is a Walla wallet. The first one in one of my premium leather choices. Poluccellato. Have fun using it, Daniel. Okay, cool. Thanks, Daniel. Really appreciate the thought. Uh, so that's really nice. That is an Italian sort of leather, isn't it? That, I'm, not, I'm not a leather expert at all. That's a nice little thing. Now, I, uh, if you look through my YouTube channel, you'll find my Bellroy uh, wallet. This is what I use for my wallet. So it's um, the same dimensions, so that's that's perfect. So that's exactly the sort of thing I use. The difference is I like a, a wallet that's zipped because it gets in my pocket, it stays in my pocket um, and gets full of fluff. However, in the summer, if I were to go out um, in my shorts, and I don't want a big bulky, I mean, that is quite bulky now, full of wallet uh, coins and cards and stuff. If I'm just having a few cards just to nip to the shops, this is a nice little thing. So let's try it out. So we put in the front a business card. Um, sorry, your credit card. Really good. Hang on. Let me see. Let me just go through. Let me just go through my um, my wallet and see if there's any cards that I can use. Uh, yeah, we can use that one. Um, okay, or we can use that one. So this is an actual card, because uh, this is a bit thin. So we've got an actual card, sort of credit card size. Slips in there, really good. And it's got this little cutout, so I can pull that out, really good to use. And then behind it is a thicker thing. I, I, could, I could probably fit five or six cards in there and there's a, a little cut out of the back there oh that would be good for ID wouldn't it, it Could be good for an ID card that's cool yeah I like it great great stuff absolutely great I can't uh, I can't find anything to fault really with this stuff it's it's really good uh, I mean, I got this. I got given this, so uh, I must say that I got given this. Um, I'm not saying that it's great because I got it for free, because uh, I did have to pay full price for these, and they are great as well. Um, but this little wallet looks good. So, 
thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review of um, my clip slips and the little wallet. Um, the relevant links are in the details below. Please subscribe to my channel to see uh, other um, videos about knives, watches, EDC. Um, that would be really good. I really, would really appreciate your subs subscription. If you've liked this video, please click like. Comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about these products and if, uh, if you've got any opinions or anything you want to say. And uh, have a look around my channel and see if there's anything else you'd like to, you'd like to see. There's lots of videos on there of all sorts of different things. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.